It just all smells so good. Pimple. It's kind of overwhelming at some point. Hi, it's Sarah and I do lifestyle content on YouTube. A little bit of beauty and skincare reviews but a whole lot of like day-to-day -day activities. I'll be bringing you a collaboration with Glowish today and we're doing an unsponsored review of Fenty Skin Starter Skincare Set. Wow, that's like a mouthful. Let's talk a little bit about my skin type. I have combination oily skin. My pores tend to be a little bit more obvious at my nose and my cheek area and I tend to have a lot more oil production around my T-zone and my chin. So what I've been using right now is niacinamide and hyaluronic acid in the morning without cleansing my face and I know loads of you are gonna be like you don't wash your face in the morning. It's been working for me. That's why I haven't been washing my face. At night, I do facial cleansing and I use vitamin C serum. So I'm sure most of you kind of know that Fenty Skincare is by Rihanna. It is her baby. Also, this is the travel size ones. And I think this costs about um, 40 USD. This is how it looks like when you open up. Fenty the Total Cleanser. It says hyper clean soft skin without stripping or drying. Daily cleanser and makeup remover in one. It's made with Barbados cherry. It's made with ginkgo biloba. It's made with green tea which is rich in antioxidants. Fig which is also rich in antioxidants. Quince. A rare fruit, think apple meets pear, that's infused with minerals. So what we do is we need to twist this. It doesn't come off as a lid, it just has a tiny little nub there. It has a little bit of a pinkish hue to it. Mmm, smells great! So wow, okay look at how sticky that is. I'm gonna try my face, okay? So let me just go dampen my face up a little bit. So like I said, really sticky. It really foams up kind of quickly. I can smell it, but it doesn't really come across as too strong for me. It's really rich. It's rubbing on more like a moisturizer. And then it kind of disappears from my hand. Incredibly strange. Okay, I'm gonna go wash this off. Is it funny that I still can smell it? Definitely doesn't feel dry. Fat Water Pore Refining Toner Serum. You can kind of tell that it looks a bit viscous, right? What's in this is niacinamide, Barbados cherry, it has Australian lemon myrtle, and witch hazel water. Witch hazel is generally not so encouraged. Most dermatologists will agree that witch hazel strips the skin of uh, most of what you need. And it also has Japanese raisin tree and, uh, to detoxify and cactus flower. It smells so fresh and fruity. So it's a lot less runny than, uh, sorry, less thick than I thought it'd be. And I'm using these really sparingly just because I don't know how my skin is going to react to it just yet. But you can see it, right? Okay, look, do you feel that? Do you see that? <laughs> Let's just wait a little while. So this is it, and it's called Hydrovisor. It's an invisible moisturizer SPF 30, light as air hydration, invisible skin protection, defense, and brightens skin while reducing the look of pores again. So what it does is that, again, it is a two-in-one moisturizer and sunscreen. As with all these products, they are two-in-one. Additionally, it's supposed to reduce the look of dark spots, boost and brighten the skin, making pores, fine lines and wrinkles less visible. Wow, all these promise so much. It's kind of overwhelming at some point. Kalahari Melon, and that's a wild watermelon that's rich in antioxidants and vitamins. It also has niacin cinnamite just like the toner and it has hyaluronic acid and aloe to help hydrate soothe and condition okay let's see how this works nice little purple packaging there we go uh, I'm just gonna dot it all over my face let you know how it smells also it just all smells so good yeah this is like I think the melon is coming through and we're just going to rub it in very lightly uh, it's not tacky. It obviously does not leave a white cast. Seems to be doing nicely on my skin. Good morning. Let's just talk about the facial wash real quick. So I've been using it for three days now. So today's the third day. I do feel a bit of tightness. I'm having a little bit of breakout. So like uh, 
Let's see. Pimple there. Pimple, pimple, pimple. So I suspect that it is um, hormonal, but also I think a couple of it is because I'm using new products. Fat water. I would think that this is supposed to make my skin a little less taut. It does, but it, it gets like tacky and like it dries down to a filmy feel sometimes. Like it doesn't do as much of a moisturizing job as a cream. Using both the cleanser and the toner serum. There hasn't been anything like explicit that I've seen different in my skin. Good morning! My nose is slightly peeling. I don't actually wash my face in the mornings but now I'm doing it day and night. I think that's why it's kind of drying out my nose a little bit. But besides that, my skin tone is actually like not too bad I feel. I should go wash my face and then I'll be back to tell you guys more about the other products. I feel like my skin is a whole lot cleaner and I also look a whole lot cleaner. I'm really really liking the facial wash. It hasn't really done a lot of damage. Usually if I kickstart the morning facial wash, I start peeling all throughout here. But with this, all I'm peeling is right here and that's super controlled because I move on to using the moisturizing stuff right after. Let's move on to the serum toner fat water. So like I said, this does dry down to a bit of a tacky, filmy feeling and it goes away after maybe like a minute or so. I'm liking the wash but I'm not really liking the serum toner or could do without it. I'm not hating it, I just could do without it. Hydra Visor which is the sunblock moisturizer and I only use this in the day. When I come home, I use this at night. I really like the smell of this. It's so refreshing. Okay, so anyway, just with my fingers. I guess for a lot of you who do not want fragrances in your products, this is gonna come across as really strong if you try it. Any changes I've seen in my skin for the past seven days, yes, I feel like my skin has been maintaining its skin tone and that's a big jump, a big uh, achievement considering that I stopped using the products that help me achieve this skin tone to begin with. Alright, I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Bit. So a review overall is that I'm actually pretty satisfied with how all these products have been working on my skin so far and it's been two weeks now. For one, the facial wash is not stripping at all. So if you can see this, this product actually does a lot for my skin after I wash it because I tend to get like very dry skin or very taut skin after I wash my skin but this is really hydrating and it gives you pretty much like a very soft feel when you're done washing your face. So I think this is working for me pretty well and it's oily combination skin so for a cream based product almost, it's kind of amazing. Personally, I think that this toner serum is not very necessary in my skincare routine right now. I feel like I see more of an effect or more of an immediate effect when I'm using separate or toner and in particular an acid exfoliant toner. Over the past two weeks, I feel like there's no noticeable change that I would like intentionally go buy this just to see. Lastly, for the Hydrovisor, I like it loads. Personally, I know that it's because it's a like chemical sunscreen. Some people might not be too open to using it. But for me, I'm not too particular about these things. So this really does the job for me because it's dual purpose, it's a sunscreen and it's a moisturizer. And because most sunscreens leave like a white cast on my face, I'm pretty happy that this hasn't. And like if you can see, leave this glow which I actually like on my face and like the scent is really good. It's so refreshing. The facial wash. You guys know that I already like this. I'm gonna say it's a 4 out of 5 just because I really 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 enjoy the formula but I don't see um, people who don't enjoy fragrance enjoying this that much because the fragrance is really strong. Compared to the sunscreen, I feel like this might be a little more heavy on the aroma. So I feel like 4 out of 5 because it does the job. 2.75 to 3 because it maintains what you know your skin already looks like and it isn't giving me any adverse effects. You know, worth a try because it works differently on everybody's skin, but just not mine. Hydrovisor. 
I'm gonna give this a 4 also because I know that people do not really see like chemical sunscreens as something they will add into their routine that's fine and also because there's a really strong fragrance but I like this better it does the job and it's great on my skin but I'm gonna give that one as a discount to all my fellow friends out there who aren't really into chemical sunscreens and um, fragrance so um, as I said this costs about 45 USD or $60 uh, in Singapore if you're getting it from Sephora. That is pretty value for money seeing as Fenty products are really sought after and almost branded in a sense. So these products 3-in-1 you get it for about um, $15 to $20 each and it lasts you 2-3 to three months. I'd say that's a pretty good bargain if you're looking to try out something new. So would I recommend this guys to people? Yes, in particular the facial wash and the sunscreen. Okay, so rounding up this review of two weeks, I just want to say that these products are great, but you have to see it on your own skin. There's a whole bunch of circumstances and factors that go into how effective products work, especially if you're from different kind of climates. Like I live in a tropical climate. The heat definitely affects the way this works. With that being said, Thank you so much for joining me on this two-week journey of using Fenty skincare products. I really enjoyed trying this and I hope that this will help you in one way or another. Have a great day and I will see you in another video on my channel or this one. Bye!